What up with it is, YouTube? Mr. Stay Fresh Headed Folk, back at you again with another one. For all my non subscribers, please go down below, subscribe to my channel, tap that bell, give me a like. I would so appreciate it. You already know what it is. Go ahead and take care of that for me. Now that we got that squared away, I finally caught my first pair of sneakers for the year. Thing about the sneakerhead is, when you've been doing this for a minute, buying every single release, that, that's played out with me. I don't do that no more. So I'm real picky with what I buy, but I finally found something that uh I wanted to add to the collection. Now, <clears throat> I ended up copying this shoe early, you know. Paid a little over. Actually, it wasn't much. It really wasn't much over at all, but just a few dollars over retail, but it's cool. You know, I wanted to go ahead and grab them. But, uh, y'all see this box right here? I'm sure most of y'all know what this is. You no. Know, got the Retro 3 Red Cement, so the Unite, whatever y'all want to call them. So we're going to go ahead and open these together. Two pair of shoe springs. You know, got that classic Nike on the back. Leather pretty soft too. And what I noticed a couple people talking about in reviews and stuff. Really it's the toe box. They said they made these more like the original ones back in 88. And you could tell the ones on the black one, toe box on the black. A little taller than the ones on here. The front come more to a point on these. Let's see if y'all can tell, but it looks smaller. I look as tall as this one right here. But I like that though, you know. Taking it back to the OG form. Like I said, it's really just a reverse black cement. Really, if you look at it, all they did was change the color. Put red instead of black, but it's cool though. It ain't no OG colorway, but like I said, got that Nike on the back, so this all good. <clears throat> now, I'm not into all, every single red pair of sneakers that come out, but every now and then they'll drop something I got to get. Like I said, I had to grab these. I got them off GOAT a week early. You know, they weren't really taxing much over, so I went ahead and grabbed them. Go ahead and get a little review out. But they're pretty straight, though. Now, they got the other ones with the Shire. I think them going to be more limited. I think they just coming out in Chicago. Like I said, these just the regular ones with the Nike Air on them. Got the regular three bottle. And another thing I noticed, too. Look at them. The inside is more thinner, like around the edge of the... Inside of the shoe, it's thinner, tongue thinner and all. So I don't know, I guess, like I said, I guess they were trying to take it back to OG form. But it's cool though, so I wanted to go ahead and get this review out though, because I will be rocking these tomorrow. I want to get y'all a review out before I put them on feet, so I might have to throw a few pictures up with them on. But they pretty dope though. The red cement, so like I said, the red Unite, whatever y'all want to call them, I say red cement. I don't know where they get that Unite from and all that. But the retail on them is, uh, retail is just 200 That ain't bad. I think that's the same price as the uh, black ones. Yeah, those 200 too. So, you know, it ain't got that whole, it ain't got the top that lift off. It's just a flip open top, so that's cool though. This was just a quick little video to do. Go ahead and get a review out for the shoe. I appreciate y'all checking me out. 
for y'all that haven't, go ahead and check my old videos out. I ain't gonna say old, but the ones I done put out in the last month or so, you know, show love. And like I say, always subscribe to my channel, tap that bell, give me a like, comment if you like. I appreciate it. Till next time.